our story is true. The people are not actors, they are real. It happened to an employee of the Consolidated Edison Company in New York City. It could happen anywhere, and it could happen to you. Here is how it was. 7.30 a.m., and your day begins. You kiss your wife goodbye. You're tender with Adele these days, very tender. And you head for work. Yeah, it looks like a good day for Mr. and Mrs. Leon Masajewski of Brooklyn. A day touched with spring, when all's right with the world. You watch the kids playing on the way to school. And you're happy, because you, Leon Masajewski, soon, very soon, you and Adele, you're gonna have a kid of your own. You take the thought to work with you, down into the dark cellars. And all day it cheers your way. A thought luminous as the beam that searches out the electric meters. That's your job, meter inspector. You read the dials, you check the consumption, you time the pulse. Timing okay, the rhythm of health, the steady flow of light, warmth, and life. Yeah, all's right with the meters. All's right with the world at the close of this day in spring. It's Officer Howard Doerholtz, and he's been looking for you all afternoon. Brace yourself, Leon, he says. I've got some bad news. They took your wife to the hospital. She's critical. Suddenly, like that, the sun goes out of the sky. And the touch of spring is chilled. Critical. 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 Critical, the doctor says. Massive hemorrhage. She's dying. She has another three hours. Maybe. Three hours to live. There's one last resort, he says. One last hope. Blood. Whole blood transfusion. She's getting Red Cross blood now. She's gonna need more. Three hours to live. One last hope. Adele needs more blood. So you call Con Ed's mutual aid. You tell her the story. Your wife's in the hospital, dying. She needs blood. Mutual aid calls the Red Cross Blood Center. Red Cross checks the supply on hand, checks the availability of the patient's blood type and group. is on the way. And the blood is there. Drop by drop. They feed life into her veins. You lift your eyes to the clock. You lift your eyes to heaven. And pray. Drop by drop. They nurse the spark of life. Slowly, so slowly, the seconds pass by.
She clings to life, he tells you. She's fighting. 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 That was a long time ago, Leon Masajewski, when you lifted your eyes to the clock and beyond to the father of all time. And now, it's another day and another spring. the kids playing on the way to school. Your kid isn't there, Leon. Not yet. But Adele is alive, strong and well, thanks to blood. And someday, you and Adele are going to have the child you long for with all your heart. This is the thought that melts the twinge of sadness on a day in spring. Even as your beam melts away the darkness, Secretary of the Consolidated Edison Employees Mutual Aid Society in New York City. And what you have just seen happened has happened many times over among our workers in Con Ed. The Red Cross Blood Bank is a very important part of Con Ed's Mutual Aid Society program. Each year, Con Ed workers donate about 3,000 pints of blood for the protection of themselves and their families. Actually, through the Red Cross, we are giving this blood for ourselves. We owe a debt to the Red Cross, a debt of more than gratitude, because it is the Red Cross that pays for the collecting, processing, and delivering of this blood when we need it. In New York City, this cost runs close to $8 a pint. This is never passed on to the person who receives the blood. Red Cross supplies blood and blood products without charge. The money that makes the Red Cross blood program possible comes from the gifts that we all make each year to the annual Red Cross campaign. It is one more reason that all of us should give and give generously. <laughs> 